Okay, let's see. All right, can you hear me? Good, all right. It's a little bit early, by just a couple of minutes. So I see uh, Grace and I see iPhone 4. Who, who's iPhone 4? I'm Rose Warren. Okay. That's what I thought. But I've learned not to guess too much, you know. Don't assume, because you know what it means when you assume. And that's not me. So I'm not one. That's all I have to say about that. So, uh, Rose, let me guess, you're at uh, UAMS, and you work? Yes. Okay. Yes. You at work right now? Yes. Okay. What do you do there? I'm inpatient on the council floor. So I'm a CNA. Okay. Are 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 you good to are you good to take a little bit of time? Or? Uh, yes, I'm good to take a little bit of time. Okay. I'm just I'm on light duty right now, so okay. Yeah. Well we we'll try to keep this mentally light also. <laughs> That's fine. I'm good. He and four. He and four. That's why I haven't. All right. Well, I'm. Hey, got... I have a question. Why we sitting here? So good. when got, we get, I got, uh, I got four thirty. A little bit, uh, four thirty one, but. Please ask ask your question. That'll get us so started. So on the supplies, do we get the which the first week supplies or the second week supplies when we come get our stuff from the um for the I'm, class? I'm gonna talk about that here in just a minute. Um, okay. So uh, that's a very good question, and we're gonna answer that here as we go. I uh, okay. I guess I guess first thing is uh, I ought to introduce myself for those of you that are here. So for Rose and Grace, um, if if Grace is tuning in um, or just logged on, I'm not sure. But uh, also for the benefit of those that will get uh, the re the Zoom recording after uh, this is being recorded. So, oh, there's Grace. Hello, hi. Look, um, let's remember that this is recorded and uh, be on our best behavior and watch what we say and all of that kind of stuff because uh, this is a matter of public record and all of that. This first time that we uh, are together uh, like this, um, and it's, I guess it's gonna be primarily up to you too 
uh, that are on here um, in person, but I want to answer as many questions as possible. Um, the concerns that you might have about online learning in general, uh, how this course is really supposed to look and feel and sound and smell. And, um, you know, to Rose's question before, uh, coming to get product from the culinary school, what, when, um, when do we get it? How do we get it? Um, I, I want to make sure that we really clearly understand that before we leave uh, today. Um, because, so there was, a, there was a significant staffing change that happened uh, kind of at the last minute before the semester started. There was another instructor that was uh, uh, supposed to be doing this course, and there was going to be more communication over the summer and a specific plan that would include, you know, a, a Zoom or, or some live kind of component with a live demonstration and, and all of that kind of stuff. And so the, the best we can do right now is this. And so when it comes to uh, demonstrating each week uh, new skills, um, number one, in each week's folder in uh, Blackboard, if you haven't already gone into Blackboard and looked and perused and opened a few folders, the whole term is open. Um, uh, that, that's me and that's my voice and it's my hands that are uh, doing the recorded demonstrations. Um, I'm not maintaining a specific time for uh, what, what we in the online world would call virtual office hours. I'm not maintaining specific virtual office hours, but um, I've, got, uh, I've, I've got a fair amount of time during the week that I'm available uh, and can be available to you if you have a concern or you're having a struggle with a certain skill or a technique and you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, uh, we can do that online. Um, if you want to do that from home, uh, that's fine. But if you want to meet me here at the culinary school, um, we can do that in person as well. We just might need to arrange that in advance. Um, so for kind of an appointment. I, I want you to feel uh, confident that you're getting um, all the uh, the attention and support that uh, that you want, um, that you deserve, that you paid for, and you don't feel like that this online class is just you out on your own and you're learning how to cut by watching YouTube. That's that's not what you're in culinary school for. Okay. So um, with, with that said, let me introduce myself just a little bit. Um, I've got a short little vi uh, bio in, uh, in Blackboard. You, on the left-hand side, you can click on uh, faculty information, and I think there's a goofy picture, and you can read a little bit about me and my background. I've, I've been in this business uh, almost 32 years. Um, I've been in the classroom about 12 of those years. Um, I've stepped away from um, regular full-time commercial professional food service uh, working in the kitchen uh, for about the last five years. Um, I became a grandpa for the first time in December. Um, my grandbaby, she's, uh, she's eight months old. I've been a workaholic all my kid's life. And I want to be uh, I want to be more present and more engaged, and uh, I want to be a better grandpa than I was a pa. So I started teaching to um, I guess you might say this is early retirement um, versus the literally hundred hour weeks that I've spent uh, most of my career. Um, I've been a workaholic because I'm aggressive, and I've I've chased. Uh, I've chased accolades and awards and prizes in TV. Uh, I've, I've done a movie um, as a as a hand double and a set consultant. I'm not in a movie. Um, my hands are, but anyway, um, I've, I've chased things like that um, all of my life, and uh, I've just wanted to slow down. Um, I've uh, I've cooked all over the world. I've cooked all over the country. Um, I've, uh, 
I've won uh, local, regional, national, and international competitions. Um, not your, not your uh, county chili cook-off, but uh, proper chef competitions. Um, one of the hallmarks of, of my career, I think, was um, serving in the 2008 Summer Olympic Games in Beijing, um, in China. Um, I am Arkansas's only certified master chef. And I want you to know that, not to stroke my ego or pat my back. I, my, my ego has been stroked enough in my career. I want you to know that um, I, I bring to this course uh, a certain level of um, experience, skill. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I hope I know how to help you and we can figure anything out. And the knowledge and the skills that I'm, I'm gonna share with you um, throughout this semester, both online virtually and in Zoom and when we can get together in person um, is, is gonna be the real deal. And I'm gonna teach you how to cut in a way that you would be respected in any kitchen um, anywhere in the world. And I think that's important for you to know and understand. Uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of confidence about um, my approach and, and what we do. We're, we're gonna talk about dimensions and precision cutting and things like that as we go. And, and it's, you can go to England, you can go to France or Germany, you can go to Brazil or you can go to China and these, these cuts and your nice skills and the little bit of co cooking that we might get to do in this class um, is, is gonna be the same in any kitchen, proper kitchen, um, um, anywhere in the world. So uh, it'll be good stuff. About cooking, especially in this online environment. Um, there'll be weeks that uh, you go home with product, but the assignments that I'm asking you to submit for grade may only be cuts. I'm going to provide you with other product and some recipes that are embedded um, in uh, Blackboard in certain weeks so that you're getting exactly the same experience that the in-person students are getting. Um, they're being graded as well just on the cuts, but there are weeks that we're going to take those cuts and turn them into something. Um, for you, if you're going to use that product, so um, in uh, week five, I think is the first week that we cook using, uh, using product that, uh, that you cut in class. And so we're gonna make curry and you're gonna go home. Uh, you'll come to the school and pick up for that week product that you'll cut, but also uh, you know rice and coconut milk and stuff that you can use to make curry at home. If you don't wanna make curry, I don't care. If you want to use that product for something else, just put it in your cupboard and save it for later. I, I, I don't care. What you'll be graded on will be the cuts. Does that make sense? If you even give me just in the camera, give me a little thumbs up. That's kind of that's kind of the amen at church. Good. All right. Hallelujah. Um, so in the syllabus and you're you probably aren't looking at it right in front of you but in the syllabus uh right in the middle probably about page nine or ten for two or three pages is uh the course schedule we will be following that course schedule pretty close as far as the cuts that we'll be doing and um, <clears throat> you should have a file. If not, um, I'll double check as soon as we're done. I'll put a file up in Blackboard. When you first click on course content, there's a folder called resources. In that resources folder, um, or maybe just outside of it, when you first go into course content, that's where I'll put, I'll make sure. There is one file that is, uh, is going to be, uh, forget what it's called, but that's your shopping list. I'm, I'm calling it your shopping list, not for you to go buy anything. 
your your lab fees purchased uh, paid for all of this stuff. Okay, but there'll be a checklist that um, is provided for you at the culinary school when you come to pick up your product. How much of each thing you're going to be picking up? Okay. Um, you don't need to have that list, but I give it to you uh, so you know in advance. And uh, occasionally, I don't know where you live. Others that might be getting, uh, getting this via Zoom recording um, may live in faraway distances, and it's not easy or convenient or possible <clears throat> for you to come to the culinary school every week to pick up your product. <laughs> if that's the case, um, we can't send you product, and unfortunately, there's not a uh, there's not a lab fee discount or refund. But um, I, you have that list, so you know what we're using, and you can decide if you want to go pick up some uh, carrots and celery and onion and potatoes. Um, in fact, the majority of what we will be working on, what you will be working on for grade, is uh, potatoes. Uh, celery, carrots, garlic, a uh, little bit of tomato, some some basil, uh, stuff like that. Uh, things that you generally m might have around the house all the time, things that, that you keep. Um, this week is week two, okay? Just so that we're all on the same page, this week is week two. Your week one items in Blackboard should have already been done and submitted before midnight Sunday night. Now, we're in a learning curve. This is week one of food production one, which for many of you is, uh, is uh, you're brand new to culinary school. You're brand new maybe to online learning and you've got a little more challenge or a little more of a learning curve than, than others. Um, I do try to stay consistent um, so that I don't treat an online student any different from an in-person student. It's the same instruction, it's the same expectations. It's just, uh, so um, Grace, I assume you're at home and uh, Rose, you're at work. <clears throat> That's a that's I call it a blessing. That's a benefit of doing this online. Um, you don't have to change your work schedule and you don't have to be here at the school at a particular time. You do have to be here to pick up your uh, your lab product. OK, um, the pickup time. I'm going to say generally. So I got air quotes going on. Um, the product ID course meets Monday morning that will build our cart each week, um, gather all of the product together, together, and it will be in one place. Okay. You'll get to know very well Chef Jen and Zachary. Jen is our purchasing director, and Zachary is the product ID purchasing assistant. They work in the kitchen in the area wh where you will go to pick up your product, okay? Each week, the product is generally, air quotes, generally available Monday about noon through Wednesday, um, through Wednesday afternoon about five o'clock, okay? Um, now, Listen, um, if I, I, I'm just since, since Rose, you're at work and, and you're on right now and, you know, it's already um, almost 10 minutes till five. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask you because you're at work. Um, how difficult is it for you uh, to come between, say, um, noon Monday through about 4, 4.30 on Monday or 8-ish a.m. on Tuesday till about 4 or 5 on Tuesday or uh, the same thing on Wednesday. Um, do, do you need to pick up product after 5 o'clock? No, I, I have classes on all day on Wednesday on campus so I can get my stuff on Wednesdays. 
That's beautiful. So, um, uh, Grace, uh, are you okay picking up product at the culinary school somewhere in that time afternoon on Monday before about four or five o'clock on Wednesday? Uh, somewhere in there, does that work for you okay? Um, I can pick up on Wednesday as long as there's nothing that has to be refrigerated. But if there is something, I I mean, I'm, I'm, it's possible, but if, if, if we can, I was thinking maybe Thursday sometime I could pick it up. You did, you emailed me about that, didn't you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. The generally the, the card is not broken down until later in the week. And okay. so, um, I, I'll make sure the, the product that chef Jen and Zachary, I'll make sure that they know. So they're not breaking the cart down and Worst case scenario, Grace, I'm going to apologize to you already in advance. I had set kind of that expectation uh, to them uh, to make sure that there's product available from about noon on Monday till about five o'clock on Wednesday. Now, um, I'm here, if you can tell, I'm in my office. So uh, for, for either of you and anyone that's uh, going to watch the recording, if you need to pick up after five o'clock, you need to do it on Tuesday and you need to email me and let me know. Um, I can stay and I can hang around till about six o'clock on a Tuesday. The product ID people, the purchasing people are already gone, but um, I got keys to everything and, uh, and I can help out then. Uh, Grace, you, you should be okay to pick up on Thursday and, and that would be better. So you get the refrigerated stuff and um, in the, the bags that uh, when you pick your stuff up, um, you'll get it uh, like week five when we do the curry, you're going to pick up shrimp along with the other stuff. Well, they're going to send you with, uh, you know, like you would get uh, maybe from an Amazon refrigerated package or something. There's going to be a little packaged ice block sort of thing. Um, we have stuff like that here to help you go home keeping the stuff uh, refrigerated. Grace, you're, you're, about, you're about two hours away or so, if I, if I remember. That's gonna be, yes. yeah, good. That's gonna be important for you to be sure you're leaving with, uh, with your bag refrigerated as, as much as possible. So you, you should be just fine um, on Thursday uh, to get product. Um, where you come, uh, some of you, if you already have classes, um, at the culinary school and you've already attended a class or two in person. Hopefully you've had a little tour of the culinary school. Um, if you're just coming by to pick up product, then you'll swing around to the back where the faculty parks, where the green and red dumpsters are, and that's the loading dock. There's, a, there's phone numbers um, taped to the door. Uh, the back door, they'll be locked. Um, call either one of, of those numbers, preferably uh, Jen, uh, Jennifer Dancer. Her number is on the door and uh, she'll come and open that back door. And the product ID kitchen is right there where the back dock is. And so you don't have very far to go. If you're already here because of classes, um, if you're not sure where product ID is, just ask somebody. If you've already seen it, it's kind of the back corner uh, classroom, lab, kitchen area right next door to that big refrigerated uh, meat and seafood lab. Um, that's where, where you will go to get product. Our classes cart um, in the past for our online classes, our, our cart has been kept in the catering cooler. And so more than likely, especially the first several weeks, Jen or Zachary is going to make sure you know where to go and show you where the bags are and all of that, hand you the, the checklist, and you'll pull, pull your own product. So it'll be a little bit of honor system, but uh, you're, you're trusted. That'll go, uh, and it'll be that way until the first time one person grabs all 
of the five or 10 pounds of shrimp that's on the cart. And then there's no shrimp left for anybody um, when you're only supposed to pick up, uh, you know, six or eight ounces. Um, so y'all don't take advantage of that. Um, blackboard, just migrating blackboard. Um, we, we can't hear from anybody that's not on. So I, I really can only ask this question to, uh, to you two. Um, any problems or concerns about getting in the blackboard or understanding what it is I'm supposed to do or how to do? I can share my screen and we can walk through blackboard. No, sir. I figured it. I figured out everything yesterday. Good, good, good. Um, I'm giving some grace, um, grace to Grace and grace to Rose and grace to everybody. The first week while you can see due dates and the due dates for all of your assignments within a week are Sunday night, 1159 of that week. We're in week two right now. This is Tuesday of week two. And so any assignment that's in week two needs to be finished and submitted by 1159 this coming Sunday, which is September the 4th, I believe. Okay, get it done before Labor Day. Okay, now listen, week one is the only exception. So uh, Rose, for example, if you did stuff yesterday from week one, that's okay. I'm, I'm not penalizing anybody for late submissions past the due date for week one. I already submitted my week one stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Using it as an example. Yes. There's okay. no penalty for late submission um, for week one. But week two, you have to submit before 1159 Sunday night. If you submit it Monday morning, it's 50% off. Let me let that sink in for a little bit. 50% off. 50% off is exactly what you want to hear if you're going to TJ Maxx or you're going to Kohl's or you're, you're going, I don't know where all the stores where fashionable people, fashionable people go. Um, I go to McCain Mall from time to time so I can go to the little nut house place because I like them seasoned pepitas and they have these, I have type 2 diabetes. I'm not supposed to have any of those chocolates, but they have this chocolate that's got marshmallow and a little vein of caramel right in the middle. Oh, that's why I have diabetes. But 50% um, um, off is what you want to see. And that's what you want to hear in retail. 50% off is not what you want to hear about your grade. And so um, that, that's, that's a loud statement. And let me give you a reason why. Let, let me put that in a little bit of context. We work in the food industry. And if you were coming to culinary school, I realize that not everybody is coming to culinary school because you want to be a chef or you want to work in the restaurant industry. But our school is designed around professional training for this industry. Okay. And we work on due dates, we work on deadlines. I'm telling you, if you've been hired, to do a, a Saturday morning brunch wedding reception at 1030 Saturday morning and you weren't feeling really good and you just didn't get around to buying the product until Friday and you dropped some stuff and na 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 and whatever your story is, you just not feeling like that wedding reception on Saturday morning. So you call the bride or the mother of the bride or the father of the bride and just say, uh, clients, I know that you were paying me $4,000 to do this little party, uh, but I'm just not feeling it today. And so um, would it be okay if we had the wedding on uh, next week? How long do you think you're going to be in business? That's right. You, you, you won't be in business. 
um, you won't. And so um, I use that as a maybe a goofy little example. We we have we work on deadlines and we work on hard deadlines. Okay, so you can submit late. Um, I don't want you to think that late is uh, it's all or nothing. But if you are going to be late, half credit is better than no credit. If you find yourself starting to fall behind a little bit, listen, listen to chef. Chef is wise. Linda, listen, Linda, Linda, honey, listen, listen. You know that little kid, the YouTube kid I'm talking about? Um, I, I love that little YouTube. No, pow, pow. Um, listen, for real, if you find yourself maybe getting a little bit behind, two things you need to keep in mind. First, we need to communicate, okay? I can't help you address anything or fix anything that I don't know about. And so, quite frankly, and to put it very blunt, I care about you and your grade only as much as you care about you and your grade. And if you're struggling with something and you really care about this, let's talk about it. Um, if we talk about it, you know what? Uh, we can just about fix almost anything and you'll be okay. You'll be okay. If we never talk about it and you find yourself just life is life and life happens, it does happen. And you're getting a little bit behind. You're going to hear me say, you need to do this week's work now. If you find yourself at week four, week five, and you still haven't done week two yet, do week four. Get full credit for week four because yeah, week two is already late and and I don't take off more or you know the further along we go we're going to take off more nope it's uh it's 50 percent if it's late a uh, done deal so if we find yourself in week four and you haven't done week two yet do week four get the current stuff done in and full credit with that and work on your past due stuff as you get a chance, get that caught up, but it's not going to benefit you or hurt you any more than it already has. That, does that make sense? Okay, good. Um, picking up product. Uh, okay, this is important. With an online environment, you're going to be taking a lot of pictures of stuff, mostly close-ups of, of your food and your product. But every once in a while, you're going to shoot a video of yourself um, doing some cuts. You've probably seen that. Um, one of your assignments from week one, uh, or it wasn't actually in the week one folder, but it's a little video called Who Am I? Um, that Who Am I video, you introduce yourself, Y'all remember what I'm talking about? If you've done that, so that, that takes you through the steps of shooting a little video, just using your cell phone, and then, um, and then uh, uploading that into Blackboard. If you can do that, then shooting video, uploading video, uh, shooting still image, and uploading that is gonna be no problem. It's gonna be a piece of cake, okay? Um, the pictures that I ask for, for you to be in uniform, you need to be in uniform, full uniform, okay? And so you're gonna have, you're gonna have moments where I wanna see a close-up of this cut, I wanna see a close-up of this cut, and I wanna see a close-up of this cut, and then I wanna see you holding all of your cuts in uniform, okay? that's gonna be probably kind of a waste up. So you're at home, I'm not so, not so picky about, uh, you know, do you have solid black non-slip shoes? Are you wearing black socks or white socks? I don't care if you're wearing the um, hot neon pink and green and I, I don't know, you could be wearing socks that, make somebody throw up, I guess. Um, but 
um, at least at least kind of waist up, which means uh, your your headgear as well. Okay, um, you should have some black chef pants. You should have your chef coat, UAPTC logoed chef coat. And you should have a UAPTC culinary school ball cap or skull cap. Okay, uh, we got time before you absolutely need those things uh, submitting labs. You won't submit your first lab until next week anyway. You don't have product to pick up at the culinary school until next week. Um, so we're, we're in good shape. Um, uniform, your product, uh, work on the stuff and deadlines. Uh, what questions do y'all have? As, as, as small as they may be, if you have a question, one of your classmates probably has the same question. So uh, uh, ask away. Are we allowed to work ahead on you the are, assignment? You are absolutely allowed to work ahead. Okay. Uh, those people that work ahead, you can you can focus you can focus maybe take one week and you can do all the key terms for the whole semester you know in in a, a few days you can take all the quizzes in advance um if if you want all the little uh you know watch this little video and 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 write a three to five paragraph essay um when i say three to five paragraphs i mean three to five paragraphs not three to five sentences Look at the directions and follow those directions. But uh, yes, you can work in advance. You can do the lab work in advance as well. The culinary school is not prepared to provide you with the product for you to do the lab work in advance. Does that make sense? So, you know, if you, if you went down right now today, uh, to pick up the onions that you need for next week, they're not there. We're out. I think the, the produce truck my, comes on Wednesday uh, this semester. And so um, if you came today, there are no uh, onions in the house for you to take. They're on carts to be used in other classes. Uh, they're not there for us. So if you wanna work ahead, if you wanna do next week's lab work, uh, tomorrow, you have to go to the grocery store and buy an onion and buy a carrot and, and do that yourself. Another question. So are you going to show us videos on, on the different cuts? Yes. Or, okay. And they're, and they're in each week. If you looked at the syllabus and you followed along the course schedule of what cuts there are, it, those corresponding, my, my demos, the recorded demos, of those cuts are in the corresponding week um, in, in Blackboard. So you'll see um, week four, there are five new cuts. Week five, there's the same cuts. It's the same video uh, videos that's in, uh, in each of those week's folders, okay? Um, all those cuts are there. If something doesn't make sense, if you're confused, um, if you want some one-on-one -on -one help, chef, am I holding my knife right? I feel like I'm struggling with, you know, how to, how to do the cut. Uh, your videos don't make sense to me. I need some one-on-one -on -one instruction. We can do that virtually, or we can do that right here at the culinary school. Um, either way, uh, we just, uh, we make an appointment and, and we'll do it. I've, I've had students online in the past. I'm finishing a doctorate. Um, by about uh, before Thanksgiving, I'll be Dr. Chef. Um, and, and that's going to go on my license plate. My license plate right now says, see me cook. I'm very vain. And that's just how it is. And uh, the see me cook is coming off and uh, Dr. Chef is going to go in its place. Um, my study, my doctoral research was in online culinary arts education. Um, I'm a little bit of a technology geek, but I'm also uh, very in tune to um, some of the nuances of getting this done, teaching you, helping you online. And so um, everybody learns differently and everyone has different educational needs. And we have one general format here 
But if, uh, if, if you need to work one-on-one, -on -one, um, come on, uh, take advantage of it, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help you. What else? Anything else? Um, in Zoom, I scheduled this time to be an hour. Um, I generally, especially at the beginning of the semester, I, I don't really have um, any more of a, of a, I don't have a script. I don't have a, we need to cover X, Y, Z. Um, when we start cutting next week, the following week, when we do this in week four, um, I'll be given a lot of general comments based on feedback I want to give everyone um, as, as uh, uh, kind of takeaways and, and uh, teachable moments from the product that we've done the week before. And, and that's kind of how we'll roll um, and certainly answer any questions. I plan to, to try to keep this, at least my part, about a half hour to 40 minutes. And uh, then there's plenty of time. If you have questions, let's ask, ask the questions just like now. And if there's no more questions, then, uh, then we drive on. And what will happen is even you too, if you're not able to do this Zoom, the only time I won't Zoom is a uh, holiday, which won't happen on a Tuesday this semester, um, except for Thanksgiving break. Um, if nobody's here, then I don't have anybody to talk to. And so if I don't have anybody to talk to, um, I'm, I'm not gonna just talk, okay? And that's fine. But if it's just one of you, if it's one or two of you, uh, everybody in the whole class, we're here for this Zoom. We'll talk back and forth and talk back and forth um, until the hour is done. Or if you want to keep talking, um, I, I like to talk. If you can't tell already, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing a project uh, for the state, for the culinary school, for the university. We're, we're, uh, we're starting, um, I'm excited about this. We're starting a kind of a second chance uh, program. I don't know if that's the right way to put this in uh, the Pulaski County Detention Center. And uh, I, I really dig uh, this kind of thing. Um, it feels a little like a prison ministry, but it's not a ministry. It, it is uh, giving people another opportunity, though, and giving some uh, real uh, industry training before people get out. And so you got a good start right away. Well, what I, what I mean by that and what I'm getting at is uh, I'll be doing four eight-hour sessions, and I have no problem just talking for eight hours or 10 hours. So if, uh, if y'all want to keep talking, I can keep talking. If y'all want me to shut up, if we need to shut up, uh, I, I can do that as well. Um, and so I don't know. It's time to shut up. If, uh, if you have any other questions. Grace, did you have any questions at all about anything? Uh, the email, no. email is a great way to get to contact me, as I think both of you two, uh, both of you have. Um, on the, the syllabus on the front page, you have my cell phone also. Text me. That's great. Um, you can call me on my cell phone, and I, uh, I'm probably not going to answer. I get a lot of calls, a lot of spam calls. And if I don't recognize the number, which means I don't have you programmed in here, um, and I generally don't, um, then I don't answer. So if you call, leave me a voicemail. Um, it's really best to text me. Email me or text me um, um, all along um, as we go. And uh, I'm looking forward. This is going to be a good week, a uh, good uh, semester. Um, and this will I'm be excited about the class. At first I wasn't, but then I got to reading the book. I was like, I'm gonna like this. It, this is gonna be fun. I, I try to keep it light. Uh, there are only three things um, in the whole world that I really, really take seriously. And that is uh, my faith, my family, and food. It's all the F's in the, in, the, in the world, I guess. Faith, family, and food. I take very, very seriously. 
And so an aspect of, uh, of our class, um, I, I do kind of relate to food and I take it seriously. And so um, there we go. We're going to have fun. Anything else? Last call for alcohol. Y'all have a blessed evening. Have a good week. If you need you anything. Too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Y'all give me a haul. Bye-bye.